How you doing, guys? Uh, I just uh, getting ready to uh, uh, make an install disk, uh, which is going to be on a USB uh, flash disk, uh, minimum of at least eight gigabytes um, to uh, put on uh, OS X Mavericks, or excuse me, OS 10 Mavericks. And so we're actually going to use a software program called um, Disk Maker X. And uh, let's go ahead and we're not actually going to do this through the regular install. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, open this up right here. And uh, it's, it's really quite nice. It makes it quite easy. Uh, you can install uh, Lion 10.7, Mountain Lion 10.8, and of course Mavericks 10.9. Uh, which you can also do in uh, Mavericks itself as well. Uh, we got Mountain Lion 10.8 uh, on it right now. So um, what you have to do is make sure you download um, the Mavericks ahead of time because if you already installed it um, and once you install it, it actually deletes the, the install file. So you may have to re-download it if you want to make it available for other computers or something like that. So uh, I never used this before, so uh, this is going to be interesting uh, starting this up. And uh, there we go, I found a uh, copy of the installer software on the inside the application, which I want to use now. Supposedly, uh, if you're going to use this software program, you uh, check out their website first. There are some uh, versions that may not work, and supposedly uh, you can't supposedly make a CD install version or something. You have to use a USB disk or hard drive or something like that. So go check out the website first to get all the uh, uh, information. And uh, there we go, it found my uh, eight gigabyte USB thumb disk, which I bought just primarily for install. And um, here's one of your disks you want to use. And uh, we're gonna choose this disk. Now it's gonna overwrite everything on the disk, just to let you know if you have uh, any data on it, you might want to offload it if it's a uh, used one. Uh, and there we go, it's going to go ahead and uh, Probably make a, a new Mac file system on it uh, before it uh, installs it. And uh, here we go. Uh, now, actually, it may take a while, so we're going to go ahead and pause this. And um, I guess it's already done. Oops, and uh, let me go ahead and uh, shift this over here. And it really does use um, terminal commands for this, but it obviously gives you a nice graphic interface to uh, do the installation. And uh, so now I might actually have to pause it because this can take a while. And I'll give it uh, a couple of seconds because who knows, it might uh, actually stop right away. And actually, after a very long, um, oh, that's strange. Oh, there we go. Uh, and it just finished um, making a uh, USB install disk. And this thing's going a little bit crazy on me here. Um, <laughs> this is going a little bit crazy on me. Okay, it just finished. Um, I was showing you, it was going through the install procedure. It actually, I think, went through the uh, DMG file, uh, located in the Applications folder, and uh, once it did that, then it uh, copied it uh, to the 8 gigabyte stick. As you can see right here, we have uh, OX, uh, OS 10 10.9, Mavericks right there, install disk. And... Um, right here and we're going to show you something uh, first before we go through the uh, install procedure okay uh, we're also going to go over uh, something else um, I want to do a clean install of Mavericks um, because I've been having a lot of uh, there were, were they're not major software issues that are just small um, some uh, some professional software I use never worked right the uh, day I installed it and I installed it on the mother, another Mac and it worked perfectly. I thought the initially it was just buggy software, which it was not. And little, a lot of little issues like that. So we're going to do a clean install um, 
because prior uh we probably did uh four different upgrades all the way from uh leper uh leopard to snow leopard to lion to mountain lion and finally to mavericks now by default anytime you install a new version of uh, mac os 10 it just does an upgrade saving all your data files now like i said i want to do a complete uh clean install so there's not really a way to do it so what you got to do is um we're going to go to disk utility and i also got um a backup disk using carbon copy cloner uh which is bootable so i'm going to actually install it on the um, backup disk so we're going to go into uh, disk utilities or disk utility excuse me so what we're going to do is we're going to have to go in and erase a, the backup drive that's where we're going to install mavericks starting with a uh, clean install and uh, we're just going to erase it oops um let me go right here and um we're going to, of course, use the default Mac OS extended uh, journalized. Um, nothing uh, special beyond that. And we're also going to name it backup as well, because once we uh, install, we're going to keep two separate installations, Mountain Line and uh, Mavericks, because uh, the transition is not, it's going to take a while to move all my applications and data. And uh, once it's finally complete, it could be, uh, shoot, could be three to six months from now, then we'll finally uh, use this drive as the backup and then uh, uh, use Carbon Copy Cloner as this being the backup. So we're going to go ahead and erase that, the whole uh, backup drive, uh, to do a clean install just like so. And uh, it should be fairly quick. Um, just like so, and we are showing this right here. It should be actually totally blank. Uh, pretty much what it is. Just like so, which is what we want because we are going to do the uh, Mavericks install. Okay, once that's done, um, now this has to do with, I primarily use PC graphic cards now the difference between the official apple supported ones which use a uh, uefi firmware if you use pci version you won't get a boot screen so until you won't actually see a graphics display until you actually boot into the desktop so it makes it very hard to install um upgrades to um the operating system so what you got to do uh, the easiest one uh, I found out so far is once you have your boot up disk, in this case the 8 gigabyte USB stick, as uh, we're going to switch that. Um, as you can see, here's the uh, Macintosh HD. We're actually going to boot it up using the, um, the install disk. And then you could click restart, which would automatically boot into the startup disk instead of giving you a boot screen which you're not going to see because I'm using a PC version so that's uh, one of the ways you can bypass that and uh, another thing uh, if uh, to boot in between each one you can use the startup disk, disk option or there's a, a couple of third-party applications you can use as well which is um, quick boot that's one of them and in this case right here, um, I can select which one I want to boot um, into or boot later. Um, another handy thing to have if you use uh, PC graphic cards within uh, your Mac computer. So there's uh, several different ways um, how to upgrade uh, using these PC graphic cards.